If you're impressed by Dubai's eye-catching world-class architecture, from its spectacular contemporary gigantic skyscrapers to its man-made archipelago of artificial islands shaped like palm trees, or its world-famous remarkable all-worthy skyline, wait till you see what Saudi Arabia's Neom City has in store for you. Described as an incredible, highly futuristic, self-sustainable architectural marvel, Neom is a vision of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The word Neom itself translates to new future by combining ancient Greek and Arabic, and it is undeniably the most advanced trillion dollar megacity in the works. The plan to build this architectural masterpiece was announced to the world in 2016 as part of Saudi Arabia's efforts to diversify its oil-dependent economy to other sources apart from oil. It's become extremely evident that as the world swings more towards renewable energy sources as a source of fuel, its reliance on Saudi Arabia begins to wane. To offset this, the country has begun exploring new ways to innovate and establish fresh revenue streams. This has given birth to the need to build unimaginable structures that are bound to attract international attention. But developing these monumental skyscrapers isn't an easy task, especially when the project is promised to be completely renewable. To develop a hydrocarbon-free economic zone, the most advanced urban construction technologies are needed and the ultimate goal for Riyadh, the country's capital, is to be able to attract foreign investment and international firms so that it can compete with its regional competitor, the United Arab Emirates. It's estimated that once the mega project is completed, it will create roughly 460,000 jobs and add $48 billion to the country's GDP. Neom, city of the future. On October 24th, 2017, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman presented the mega project at the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. He stated that Neom would function independently of the current governmental framework with its own set of tax and labor rules, as well as an autonomous judicial system. So it's not surprising why the city is considered self-sufficient in every way possible. It is a city that is intended to be self-reliant enough to be considered a country within a country, with its future residents who will be referred to as Niamians rather than Saudis. This architectural splendor is located in Saudi Arabia's Tabuk province, with the Red Sea to the north, Egypt to the east, and Jordan to the south across the Gulf of Aqaba. The incredible city once completed will connect three continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. This massive project, which spans 26,500 square kilometers, which is nearly 33 times the size of New York City, is a critical component of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, which essentially promises that the desert kingdom would look entirely different by the end of the decade. When completed, Neom will feature a floating industrial complex, a global trading center, tourist resorts, and a linear city all powered exclusively by renewable energy sources. The three mega projects that Neom is currently focusing on are The Line, Octagon, and Trojina, which alone are expected to generate an estimated 380,000 jobs and add SAR 180 billion to the kingdom's overall GDP. In today's video, we will introduce you to The Line, the architectural futuristic city that will leave you speechless. Come along as we present to you the world's first zero-gravity vertical city worth $1 trillion. Linear City, The Line. Within Neom, under construction is a structural masterpiece called The Line, a 170-kilometer, one-building linear city stretching roughly from the Red Sea to the city of Tabuk with no cars, no streets, and zero carbon emissions. The plan for this engineering marvel was announced on the 10th of January 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and the world welcomed the first peak of this one-of-a-kind city on the 25th of July 2022. Built to challenge the traditional flat, horizontal cities with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers, the line intends to accommodate over 9 million residents in the future. Given a reduced infrastructure footprint, the revolutionary city claims to be humanity's next chapter. It will run on 100% renewable energy and conserve 95% of its land for nature. It is designed to prioritize health and well-being of its residents over transportation and infrastructure. Structural Masterpiece In terms of its structure, the $725 billion, 170-kilometer-long technologically advanced city would be sandwiched between two 200-meter-wide wall-like mirrored skyscrapers, rising 500 meters above sea level. 
to give you an idea, higher than the Eiffel Tower and the Empire State Building. The mirrored facade in the middle of the desert would allow the city to seamlessly blend into the surrounding landscape and allow even its small footprint to fit in with nature perfectly. While the interior will be designed to provide remarkable experiences and unforgettable moments, its slim proportions will assist in battling a significant issue that currently most urban cities in the world face. Its unique design enables it to eradicate the problems that come with urban sprawl and instead the line pioneers a new idea of zero-gravity urbanization. A three-dimensional movement where residents of the city can move up, down, and across. The line would feature vertical tiers of structures for work, housing, farming, and recreation, with every city inhabitant enjoying a perfect temperature all year round. They would have access to all of the line's facilities within a five-minute walk. Some of the amenities that the future residents of the line can find within the city are forests, glow-in-the-dark beaches, a marina, parks, schools, offices, a sports stadium, world-class restaurants, and vertical gardens where robots would harvest fruit and vegetables with every building being carbon positive and powered by clean energy. To use the vertical farming in itself will be a game changer for Saudi Arabia that currently imports 80% of its food from other nations. Residents would also benefit from AI-driven vehicles and high-speed rail systems, which would provide end-to-end -end transit in less than 20 minutes, eliminating the need for personal cars and roads, a scene straight out of a science fiction movie. High-speed transit, utilities, digital infrastructure, and logistics will be seamlessly integrated within dedicated space running along the line in an unseen layer. Overground will be a pedestrian layer, supported by two underground layers, a service layer of infrastructure directly beneath the ground and a lower level spine layer for transportation. Given its enormous size and remarkable design, the city may possibly take more than 50 years to complete. Apart from the little information that has been revealed along with a few estimates that have been produced, not much is known about the massive project. We're told that the first residents of this city might begin to arrive around 2030, but aside from that, we're left with a slew of unanswered questions and some grave concerns. Not the first, but could be the last. Surprisingly, the line is not a completely original and new architectural concept. Large, linear cities have been proposed numerous times in the past, supported by similar efficiency claims. One such concept came from the Spanish urban planner Arturo Soria y Mata, who proposed the notion of a linear city as early as 1882. Again, in 1956, American architects Miles Graves and Peter Enziman proposed a similar design to build the linear city between Boston and Washington. And more recently, British architect Peter Barber proposed a 160-kilometer-long, 200-meter-wide city that would wrap around London. However, until the coming of the line, these ideas had never been executed. So, without a doubt, if completed, the line would be the world's most livable metropolis. But there are critics who think otherwise. Multiple reports have circulated since the initiative received attention, revealing how unworkable and full of criticism the proposal is in reality. Despite the fact that the project is being developed by a team of world-renowned architects and engineers, the line being the first of its kind is riddled with never-before-witnessed challenges. For example, because the line is so long, it must adhere to and bend to the curvature of the Earth, an issue that engineers have never encountered before, begging the question if this endeavor by the Saudi government is perhaps too ambitious. Funding concerns. The most significant hindrance of mega projects like the line is a lack of funding. The project that's being designed by US architecture studio Morphosis was initially to be built within a budget of $500 billion. But after cost estimates, the budget has been doubled and now the line will cost Saudi over $1 trillion to be constructed. This is worrisome as, according to research, Saudi Arabia has had little success in obtaining financial resources and investment from foreign governments and corporations, which has resulted in a slowing down of construction. The Public Investment Fund PIF, the kingdom's sovereign wealth private investment fund, is currently funding the project. However, Riyadh has no luck in other financial collaborations for NEOM, except conversations with some foreign businesses, particularly Russian ones, to build portions of the infrastructure. Environmental Concerns When the focus moves to environmental issues, the question of how eco-friendly this city that claims to be eco-friendly arises. 
For starters, despite its small footprint, the length and design of the line's walls could potentially pose biodiversity challenges, notably for migrating birds, who are particularly vulnerable to massive mirrored structures. Human rights concerns The concerns don't stop there. A prominent social issue that the project faces is the severe flack that it received and continues to receive for its evacuation of around 20,000 Al-Huaita tribal members from the Tabuk province who had been farming in this region for several generations. The Bedouin tribe was made to relocate to make way for the line's construction, and while some of them were granted minimal compensation for evacuation, the ones who protested were allegedly killed. One such incident that promoted outrage among human rights activists was when Abdul Rahim al Hoedi, one of the tribe's members who had refused to sign over his ancestral property to the government and even posted a video on YouTube predicting his death soon after, was shot and killed by the police in a standoff. A devastating and tragic incident. But despite all of these constraints, the project is moving forward. As seen by drone footage published on October 2022, revealing that construction of the line was proceeding, with excavation activities taking place along the entire length of the project. So it's safe to conclude that only time will tell whether this masterpiece will exist in reality or remain a work of fiction like all the previous linear cities that never saw the light of day.